What's up, world? How's it going? What's going on? What? I haven't had my coffee yet. That's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go get coffee now. So, we're gonna go get coffee now so I can function, and then we have some story time because I have been stranded in the house for about a week now, probably going on two weeks. Why, you may ask, that's our story. But first, coffee. Okay. What if I would tell you that Things don't happen once, they always come back What if I could throw... Okay, first and foremost, that was quite a lengthy process. I wasn't really thinking it was going to take so long, but because I was filming and it was like step by step and I wasn't using my camera, it's like, this is weird. I was using my phone for that because my phone shoots at a better frame rates, better quality than my DSLR does. That's a different story and a whole another complaint, but the story, the story, we're coming back to this. I almost died. Is basically what any big YouTuber would call this if uh, they wanted to get some views, some clickbait, if you will. But since I'm not a big YouTuber, I can just say I almost died because legitimately I almost died. So I've been doing some work on my car, getting some things, some new components, upgrading, whatever. Um, talking to a company, having their representative, their sales rep, give me exactly what I need uh, to get the job done. And so I get that, parts come in the mail, I put them on myself, there's no way you can get this wrong, boom. It involves kind of the most important part of the vehicle next to the engine, where the rubber meets the road, quite literally, the wheels mounting the wheels, the bolts. They sent me the wrong bolt size. He legitimately sold me the wrong bolt size. like. How do you do that? Anyway, the most fun part about this is driving home. Uh, I'm driving home, I'm down 90, local highway. Driving down, things seem fine, seem fine, like all is well, until it's not. Vibrations, crazy, out of nowhere, I'm like, okay, that's, that's weird, but okay, I'm doing things that are new and different, so something's obviously not quite right. That's just what I figured. Until, bolts, the bolts, unthreaded themselves and start flying out on the highway. That's not a good thing. Um, <laughs> as you can imagine, uh, you're losing the mounting method of the wheel to the vehicle. That relationship is split. That's a relationship you want to last a very long time, especially if you're going highway speeds. Long story short, lots more is wrong. The hub is now completely destroyed. I have to get a whole new like setup for that, new hub. Uh, new bolts, new wheels, the wheels got trashed. Um, so it's it's super duper. I almost died, bro. Hey, do you wanna go for a walk? Do ya? Can't even open the door. Ready? And now for something this neighborhood has never seen. Someone walking around vlogging. Um, no shame. But what I want to talk about real quick is um, something that I'm experimenting with and really that's finding my place in the market or a market um, of work for videography. It's weird because there's so many options, just maybe something you don't think of. This is for prospective videographers or people that want to get into it that are in it, that have a passion, or just don't know where to look. So, where I'm at, uh, I'm working mainly at the corporate level. That's kind of where I've been working. No other than that, really, now that I think about I don't understand how he pees so much. Um, but no, all of my work has been at the corporate level. Um, done a couple of bars and restaurants, done a couple of other events for companies, but it's, um, it's weird because when you work at that level, people are like, Grant, can we see your work? And I'm like, <laughs> see, I, I would, but I signed a contract that the company now owns the rights to stuff. But I can refer the individuals inquiring to said website. So that's a plus. Now, another area which I just, like literally just broke into last weekend, weddings. Weddings are a moneymaker for photographers and videographers alike. Um, now, people will probably give you funny looks 
if you say you do wedding cinematography because um, traditionally weddings are photo only or not photo only but people take photo a little more seriously see even that dog is like look at that dude he's vlogging what a weirdo weddings are a great opportunity to make a lot of money truthfully I don't want to focus just on the money factor but it is a reality um, when you're working in this industry and when you're living period because uh, you need money to live. Now one of the greatest things you can do as a freelance videographer or photographer for that matter is working with big companies. Um, big obviously can be a relative term depending on what you are used to but for myself uh, my, my biggest client right now would be Maker's Mark. So if you're an individual that likes bourbon you're familiar. Get a big client, you'll get repeat business. It's just the way to go. Build rapport with executives and just just represent yourself well. Be professional, be you though. Be fun, be, be authentic. Whoever you are, be that. We are on our way home currently. I have some cardio to go do, so I will catch you when that's done. Sir. Okay, cardio is done, so it is time to go eat some food, grab some drinks, enjoy our evening. It is a gorgeous night, but there's something that I was watching, a video from Sean Tucker. I'm going to link that in the description. But the beginning of his video had a really epic quote in it that just hit me really hard. It's something to the effect of a camera is a tool to help us see without a camera. And I love that because ever since I've put a focus on photography, on videography, I've noticed that when the camera's down, when I'm not looking through the viewfinder, when I'm not looking at the subject of what I'm shooting, when I'm just living day-to-day -day life, I appreciate things more. I look at them in a different manner. I look at them not just from a creative standpoint, but from a complete standpoint of appreciation for for its existence, for what it is. And I love that. More life. You live more. You enjoy more. There's more experience. There's more to be lived. There's more to be done. There's more to be seen. There's more to be loved. So on that note, I'm going to go enjoy the evening. Thank you for tuning in, folks. I love your faces. You're really, really special to me. I don't know who you are, but I'd like to know. So leave a comment. Follow me on social media. The links are in the description. Let's, let's go, baby. Peace out.